and press OK to continue. Do you want to purchase a video of your photo booth session for the discounted price? Please pay the amount shown on the screen to complete this transaction. Wait while we process your photos. These photo booths are mostly extinct in America, um, except for some really low end um, places like this mall that I'm in and carnivals and that sort of thing. But um, gadgets like these um, are designed to keep us busy and I am just... Your photos are printing. Oh, that's loud. This should only take a few moments. Here's a video while you wait. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm convinced that our lives are um, just a constant struggle to keep us preoccupied and busy. Uh, remember the Rubik's Cubes from 1970s, like mid-70s? Um, remember Clackers? They were, they were a lot of fun. And then... Um, you know, in the early 30s and the Depression era, they had, they used dominoes, they played cards, um, for, probably from the 1800s, and, um, then there's carnivals, there's midway rides, um, there's all kinds of things to keep us busy, um, when we are not at work or when we are not eating, we like to play with things, we like to... Um, have hobbies, including sports. There's, there's always a way to spend our money, isn't there? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> now, this was a unique experience because I used a filter, and this particular photo booth. Um, had many many options for using filters and it looks like I accidentally um, <laughs> looks like I accidentally pushed um, the, op the option to get a duplicate set which I didn't want I had no desire for a duplicate set anyway um, this is a really really dead mall <laughs> but up ahead is a um, merry-go-round and it is another way we can spend money and pacify time. These particular children's carts are a way to entertain children and um, glamorize um, a situation like shopping that children probably aren't interested in. <laughs> People like to push buttons and play games, and this is a way to purchase something from a um, from a vendor, just like just like a gumball machine. And like I said, this this is not a, an, an elite mall. This is um, anything but <laughs> elite. So we we are seeing a lot of these kinds of toys, um, toy um, vending machines that entertain children. Man, this is a way to lose your money, <laughs> but in the process, you know, you can just watch your money roll. <laughs> Let me see if I have a coin. I'm going to demonstrate this. I think I gave all my coins. Oh, here we go. 
I thought I gave all my coins to um, the housekeeper. That was 10 cents worth of entertainment. Let me try another coin. I uh, only have, only have one, one more coin and it's a quarter. Do I want to lose a quarter for this kind of entertainment? I guess so. <laughs> well, what a dud. So, <laughs> That wasn't even very much entertainment, was it? Massaging. Massaging is another way to occupy our time. Um, but these these particular chairs, they're not too um, they're not too impressive. They're not too enjoyable. Three minutes for one dollar, or thirty minutes for ten dollars. Kids like these machines. It's a claw machine. Um, you put in a dollar and then you try to use um, the claws to grab a stuffed toy. And that is a merry-go-round inside the mall. I used to work at this mall in like 1984, 85, and um, it is long gone. The name of the salon was called Man Trap, and it's com the mall looks completely different now. So my salon was in this particular um, spot and it looked nothing like this in the 80s. And I, I really wish I had a picture of that salon because it was really interesting. Um, we had um, a red theme. We had, they were salon chairs, but they mostly resembled barber chairs. They were real heavy duty. And I don't think I had one picture of um, my employment, my, um, job and that was actually my favorite job in the whole world <laughs> cutting hair in the mid 80s doing perms etc but the purpose of this video was to just show you that people like to tinker people like to fiddle people need to preoccupy their time and I'm convinced that we all subconsciously are trying to avoid extreme boredom because I think boredom creates unhappiness. Look how many ways um, we are lured into spending our money to occupy our times with and occupy our hands and occupy our souls and our minds with. Um, even look at, look at libraries. <laughs> libraries are full of books. There's plenty of places to shop. Shopping is just abundant everywhere. Everybody tries to sell you something. So, I think it is, um, a struggle of mankind that is probably not normally addressed as a struggle. And that is, um, to... To preoccupy ourselves, to occupy our hands and our hearts and our minds, and to keep us from becoming bored, because I don't think a lot of us are bored, but I think when boredom sets in, it creates a lot of unhappiness and um, discontent. So that was kind of a spur of the minute video. Let me let me know what you think in the comments section. <laughs>